almost do two. separated and I'm gonna let them back out to the field.
kale. It's the morning of the sale. Um, it's like 28 degrees out, I think, right now. And the cattle hauler, he's supposed to be here at 7.30 in the morning. Right now it's 6 o'clock in the morning. And I'm going to try to give them a lot of grain and also give them some salt so they will drink a lot of water before they go because um, the reason I give them a ton of extra grain and a lot of salt and water is because they may be standing in the sales barn for hours with nothing to eat and so first of all you don't want that you don't want them getting dehydrated and you also don't want them losing 50 pounds a piece while they're standing there so that's why I give extra grain extra water extra mineral it's not to get extra weight on them before they sell it's just so they don't lose a ton of weight and also so they don't get hungry and dehydrated so well guys here they are i did have my other camera but every time it's in the cold it seems to die instantly when i turn it on so we're working on the gopro right now um so i got them all fed they're almost done and most of them are done and they have come over got a drink of water and headed back so that's good like i said they may be standing in a sales barn for a couple hours with no water no food, things like that. So eh, they've got the tank halfway empty, but 15 minutes till the hauler gets here. So I'm gonna say my final goodbyes, as you all should too. Um, a lot of work has gone into getting these guys this big. And you know, I've spent every day for the last probably 400 days getting them ready for this one day here. So, um, a lot of work, a lot of time, a lot of effort, and down to the last couple minutes. So, um, anyway, it's exciting and also kind of sad at the same time, but not something I'm going to cry over because this is what their purpose has been their entire life. So, anyway, I'm going to read the fill their water before the guy gets here just so they have plenty to drink from and it's go time and there they go all loaded up got done in probably probably eight minutes they loaded up really easy super gentle so hopefully didn't stress them out too bad but they are on their way so it's 753 and no, I think the sale I think the sale starts at nine and so it takes a little over an hour to get to the sales barn from here. This isn't the closest sales barn, but um, it tends to be the best in terms of prices normally. And there's a lot of um, a lot of buyers that come from all over. So um, that's why I'm selling there. And the other sales barn sort of nearby their stocker well their their calf sale was their last one was last week, and so I missed that one. I was planning on going to this sales barn sale, which was supposed to be Monday, as I mentioned, and the weather was just too bad. Truckers couldn't get around on the roads, and so um, so they said they'd add another sale for today, which is Thursday, and they were expecting 5,000 head, which is much less than you know their normal calf sale it normally has 12,000 head or more. And yeah, this one they're trying to sell whatever you kind of want to bring before Christmas and they take some time off. So, um, anyway, that's the sale. And I'm going to go in, grab some breakfast, and then I will make my way to the sales barn and hopefully watch them sell. Hopefully they sell pretty quick. Like I said, when they stand around all day, they get dehydrated and stressed out and they lose a ton of weight. So that's the main problem I had with Holstein's last, last year. Yeah, last year. Um, they stood around the sales barn for six hours with nothing to eat, nothing to drink, and I'd say they probably lost 25 to 50 pounds a piece, which is not good. So, um, anyway, I'm gonna grab a bite to eat and be on my way to the sales barn. Ah, 
So the calves just sold, I'm back out in the truck and um, I'll show you guys the sheet here in a little bit, but um, overall I was pretty pleased. Um, definitely not the best they could have done, but compared to straight beef calves, they did pretty well. Obviously the first group was the little ones, which you guys saw sell. Uh, they did okay, not great, but they did okay. Um, then the next group was the eight black steers. I thought those were gonna be the, you know, they should have been done pretty well. Um, compared to everything else that was selling and they didn't do well hardly at all and I was I was surprised by that one they still did pretty well like price per head but um, they didn't bring the price per pound I was hoping for so uh, then of course the bigger steers the ones that came third in the sale um, those did surprisingly well I was really pleased with how they sold I didn't expect them to do that well but they did and then the last colored ones i didn't expect them to do as well as they did they did okay since they did look more dairy i expected them to bring close to a dollar a pound and they did a little better than that so um anyway overall pretty pleased i will go over charges and all that stuff here in a little bit um and i'll also talk about kind of if i made profit things like that and uh i will see you guys at the house i was in the process of editing this video and i realized it's already way too long and so uh, I will be saving the numbers for a different day. I've got the check here with all the stuff on it. Uh, the video will give me a lot of time to discuss some things, go over expenses, and obviously whether or not I made a profit or not, and what all those numbers are. So um, that will be in a different video. That's something to look forward to. That will be coming up soon. So anyway, like I said, hope you guys enjoyed this one. I've waited over a year for this day, and I guess I'm satisfied with, with the results. Not that I can change them now, but... Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I hope you stick around for future videos. That being said, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.